Howdy music fans, thanks so much for joining me again. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video like this, but I thought I would just uh, show you guys some music I've bought recently and what I've been getting into. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go through a bunch of CDs and uh, talk a little bit about them, but not a whole lot. All right. Last year, Carolyn Wonderland put an album out called Tempting Fate. And if I would have known that, I would have gotten it and it would have been included in my 2021 list. Carolyn Wonderland is just fantastic. If you haven't checked her out, she's an amazing guitar player, uh, great singer, great songwriter, um, just really amazing from down in Texas. Uh, just looked on a local club's website to um, get tickets for shows recently and found that this person is playing and I went to check her out, um, Rachel Bayman, and boy, she's really good. So I went and bought some of her CDs. This one's called Cycles. I believe it's her most recent. She's in the uh, country, alt country, whatever vein, whatever you want to call that. I uh, found this on Amazon. It just poked up on my page, came up on my page, popped up on my page. There's a Grateful Dead show from uh, St. Louis in 71, 1971. Three disc set, as a lot of these Rhinos sets are. And this one, the reason I bought it was because I, I sampled it. It sounded fantastic. And uh, I like the set list, and uh, it was 25 bucks. So I thought, that's a good deal for these, one of these Rhino sets. Colin Linden, one of the songwriters and the slide player for Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, one of my favorite bands. And I just kind of started getting some more of his solo stuff. Right now I'm going through things I have not listened to yet on my backlog, which I've been getting through quite well lately. Uh, Nikki Bloom, she's the one that I posted some concert flicks, video videos, clips from recently at a small, small club called the Tractor Tavern, and she is just wonderful. I absolutely love Nikki Bloom. I think she's a great singer. She did some songs off this new album, her latest, maybe a year old now, maybe two, and um, they were really good. She worked with, she played with Band of Heathens. I bought some of their CDs too. They'll come up. Um, the Sweetback Sisters, I've talked about them in the past. They're a, a female duo with a backing band and country for sure. Kind of remind me of the Ranch Girls from way, um, from uh, Holland, I think. And uh, these girls just have beautiful harmonies and beautiful country singing. Uh, Amy Allen is the lead singer of a band called The Interrupters, who I'll get into a little bit later, but she has a solo album, ska-influenced, and... Uh, it's hard to find, and since I got into this band, The Interrupters, I thought I'd try and find this, and uh, one day it popped up on eBay, I think, for two bucks or something, and before that, it was, like, the day before, it was 22 bucks on Amazon, and then they were gone, and then the next day, they were on eBay. one was on eBay for two bucks and shipping, so, yay. Um, you might have heard of Huey, Piano, Smith, and the Clowns. <laughs> they always, they have some interesting, great songs and some uh, soundtracks here and there. And uh, Don't You Just Know It is one of their big ones. But um, I heard another track off of um, Heavy Sugar, I think it's called. It's a three CD New Orleans R&B set that I have that I've showed on the channel. And another Huey Smith song came on. And I was like, damn, this guy is great. I wonder if he has other good stuff. So I started poking around and finding, listening to him more and finding that he has quite a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm going to maybe buy some more, but I'm going to listen to this first and see how I like it. Butch Hancock, one of the trio in the um, Flatlanders with Joe Ely and Jimmy Dale Gilmore. Got this one off eBay, War and Peace. Haven't listened to it yet, but I've been getting, gotten a couple of things of his recently. I think one of them's filed away and I didn't put it on the pile here, but yeah, a couple of things of his. Great songwriter, fantastic songwriter. Um, Rachel Bayman again, here she is with Shame. That's a great picture there on the, the cover. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I just really dug her when I listened to her online, so I'm, I bought these two CDs of hers. Uh, now we're going to get into the Band of Heathens. I went to that show at the Tractor with Nikki Bloom and Band of Heathens, and basically it was both of their show. Like, nobody opened for anybody. They came on, and she was with them, and she left, and they played some songs, and she came back. Most of the show, she was with them, and they did her songs, they did their songs, they did some covers, um, they did um, Tom Petty's Walls. They did um, a Dan Penn song, who also wrote um, an, an Aretha Franklin song, um, Natural Born Woman, or whatever it is. Um, 
And they did Tumbling Dice by the Rolling Stones, which they actually put out online before this. But anyway, this is one of the heathen CDs I got. Uh, I bought four of them <laughs> that, day, that day because they were 15 bucks or two for 20 and they kind of are not easy to find. And I liked everything I heard, and I've got them on a couple of compilations that I've enjoyed. There's another one. And so I thought, I'm going to buy four of them for, you know, 10 bucks a pop. What? That's great. And the money goes straight to the band, right? So I bought these four. Um, top, uh, what is this one called? Top Hat Crown and the Clapmaster's Son. And this other one was called uh, One Foot in the Ether. And this one was just called Stranger. This is their newest, Stranger. Here's One Foot in the Ether. And then this is the Top Hat uh, Crown and, clap ma and the Clapmaster's Son. And the last one I got was Duende. So they're a really good funky band. They sound a little bit like Dead String Brothers, who if I haven't done a, a video on them, I should. Um, they're a mix between the band and Little Feet, kind of. Um, and these guys are very similar to that. A lot of slide guitar, great songwriting, some real rocking songs. Uh, then I replaced this Old Crow Medicine show just because I saw it for the price. I had a library, you know, used library copy of it that you get at the library sale every year. You know, I go to that when I when they had it, I went and would always get CDs for a buck. Um, so I replaced that with this and gave the other one to a friend. Uh, these I just these guys I just uh, saw in the record store and they looked interesting. Power of Country, See You in Rock and Roll Heaven is the name of the album. And so I put it on my phone and listened to it at the store a little bit. And I was like, oh, I like these guys. I'm going to buy it. And I did. It was cheap. It was like seven bucks used or something. And they're definitely an alt country type thing. And the Rolling Stones in Vegas. Uh, I got this from a guy that I buy some things from overseas in England. Uh, he has a lot of bootlegs, and, and this one is, uh, they, sometimes he'll send little links to their sound clips, and this one had one, and it sounds like a really good soundboard, actually, well-mixed soundboard, and I was at this show. I flew from Seattle to Vegas, as you might know, because I put uh, some of my videos from the show on the channel, and so I, I want, you know, I want a CD of all my Stone shows if I can possibly get them. Uh, next, Emmylou Harris uh, at the Ryman. I've been getting into her a lot lately. I've bought Cowgirl's Prayer, uh, Blue, Bluebird, um, Brand New Dance. Those are, I think, already filed away. But um, just kind of filling out my Emmylou Harris collection because I do like her later stuff. Another Colin Linden, still live. I found this on Discogs for ridiculously cheap and plus shipping, so I thought I'll get it. It's just him on acoustic guitar playing slide um, mostly. And, Again, he's the guy from Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, one of the three. Blackie and the Rodeo Kings is three uh, can Canadian songwriters, Stephen Faring um, or Fearing, uh, Colin Linden, and I forget the third guy. Um, and it's they're a fantastic band, Blackie and the Rodeo Kings. Highly recommend them. Next, uh, Quinn DeVoe, who I found in that store, Neptune Music, that I've done a, a, a video on. And I included it in one of the, one, the last one I got from Quinn DeVoe, well, the first one, I included it in a video of stuff I got from there. And uh, so I started looking for more of his stuff. This is um, Originals. <laughs> Great title, huh? The Blue Beat Review. I listened to it a little bit online, found it at the record store, used copy in a different record store and bought it. And I think there's another one of his in here. Another one of these bands, along with the Interrupters that I've recently gotten into, a little bit, not a whole lot, was... Um, the Distillers. They're kind of punk, but more than that, I got into their lead singer. His name is Brody Dahl or Bro Brody Daly, um, and this is called uh, Deployed Love, and there's only one or two songs on here that really turned me on when I listened to it online, but I saw it used at the record store and thought, I'm gonna, it might grow on me. It's pretty punk, pretty hardcore, but she, uh, I watched a lot of interviews with her on YouTube and watched some other stuff on her, and she is just really freaking cool, really cool person. And so I wanted to check out some of her stuff. And the Distiller stuff, unfortunately, is a little too hard for me. But I might get there eventually. Some of the songs I did like. Okay, now there's a couple of Interrupters things. Live in Tokyo. These guys are just a big barrel of fun. Um, they're punk rock and ska. But honestly, they're, they're kind of poppy and they're big rock and roll sound. Um, she, this is Amy Allen, who I showed at one of her solo CD earlier. They have a big, big sound, very positive, very um, upbeat music, and really moving. I highly recommend checking out some of their videos on YouTube and see, see what you think. And here's another Interrupters. Um, say it out loud, and there'll be another one coming up, too. Um, yeah, they're just 
fantabulastic. Love these guys. And so I just went out and got all their stuff in a couple of trips. I got one thing from online and a couple things from the record store. Now, this is a band, the X-Bats, um, that I've, <laughs> I've gotten into for, through YouTube. And I think I have one in here that has an actual cover and everything. But I bought a bunch of their stuff on Bandcamp. And they're a 15-year-old daughter and her dad. And she plays drums and he plays guitar and writes the songs. Sometimes they have a bass player. Um, but the CDs are pretty produced. They're like pretty full band stuff. And they are just fun, silly. She's got a song called I Got the Hots for Charlie Watts. So come on, I had to get that. Um, and sh they're just great. They're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You might like them. Charlie Parr. Haven't listened to this, but I love him. He's an acoustic uh, blues singer-songwriter, slide, banjo, mandolin, everything under the sun guy. Really great. This Otis Redding thing. I might have shown this way back when, Lonely and Blue. So I might go through some of these quick now because I think I've shown these. Yeah, Dave Van Ronk, Someone Else Not Me, another acoustic blues. Bluegrass Compact Disc with J.D. Crow, Jerry Douglas. Um, there's there's a Volume 1 and a Volume 2, and I got them both. Uh, they're on Rounder. Yeah, there's one and there's the other. And then on um, Live from Tech, Austin, Texas, you know the uh, the um, Austin City Music, Austin City Limits show, the uh, tor Texas Tornadoes with Doug Somm and Flaco Jimenez and Freddie Fender. Just great, great band. Um, Spooner Oldham might be with them. Uh, Stanley Brothers, Stanley Series. Yeah, I think I talked about these before. This is um, something that I, th I didn't know if I had or not. And I looked at the bottom down here and it's a date. It's a radio show. And there was two of them. So I bought them both. And I think the other ones get filed. Um, the Black Sorrows I've kind of gotten into a little bit recently. And they're another band that I found on YouTube through a, somebody who had posted a Susie Quattro video. And I checked out her Susie Quattro video and then her channel. And then found these guys. They're an Australian rock band. Um, the guy, the singer sometimes sounds a lot like Van Morrison, um, but they're really good. Uh, so I got a couple of those things. I think one or two might be filed away. I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. Um, I decided to give Calexico another try because I found a couple things for three bucks. So there's Garden Ruin. And then there's another one in here somewhere, I think. Um, the Modern Sounds of the Knitters. This is the second Knitters album. The first one was, uh, a country, you know, knitter knitter in the road or whatever that was dave dave alvin exine Cervenka, and probably some other major names like john doe might be in there uh i replaced this rod stewart atlanta crossing because i found this deluxe two disc set for four bucks and so i thought okay well then i'm gonna get rid of my other one and buy this one with the second disc for another you know for four bucks that's just great i'm gonna decline this phone call sorry for my finger there um, another Interrupters one. This one is the one I highly recommend. Um, it's just called The Interrupters, and it is fantastic. This is the one I've listened to all the way through online and then bought it. Um, another Quinn DeVoe, um, Lions on Lakes. I'm going to go through these quick because I actually do have to go back and call that those people. Those are my folks. We're planning a trip to Nashville. The Sherman Project, Richmond Sessions, uh, Sherman Holmes Project. Sherman Holmes is in the Holmes Brothers, and I heard this in a sh one of the songs on here in a TV show I was watching, In the Dark, I think it was, um, with Perry Matfield, the blind girl who plays like kind of a nymphomaniac, alcoholic, dysfunctional person who ends up being a detective for a friend of hers that was murdered. And they played Dark End of the Street in there, and I looked it up, and it was this this from this CD. And I love the Holmes Brothers, so I listened to this and bought it. Another Calexico. This is the one that everybody's seen, Carried to Dust. These are all in the car right now. That's why they're in a different pile. I actually think of remembering that I shouldn't get them out of place. Um... Another one, Sierra Farrell, who I saw on the Tractor website. It was playing there, but both her shows are sold out. Straight Ahead Country, really great singer-songwriter country. Another Sweetback Sisters, I talked about them earlier. Uh, this was a little pricey for a little EP on eBay, but it's out of print and you can't find it. And then the new Robert Crow Plant and Allison Krauss, uh, Raising the Roof or whatever. So far I like it, but I don't like it as much as the first one, but it'll probably grow on me, but I do like it. Four CD, uh, four albums on two CDs, Waylon Jennings. I went with a friend down to, um, to we stayed in a little cabin uh, that she rented somewhere south of here, I forget. And, and we they had records at this place, these cabins, really weird record players. And so this Waylon Jennings record I took out, it's only rock and roll, and it was great. So I recently um, I 
bought this because it's the only way you could get them. And they're all good. <laughs> Later albums that I kind of wrote off in the past. And another Black Sorrows album. Um, I will have a couple more videos coming up in uh, the near soon. Uh, one from a record label that I've really been getting into. And then um, some other things coming up. And maybe some show videos. So, um, sorry, I'm putting these back. Okay, um, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you, or I'll see you when I see you. I mean, <laughs> leave comments, like, subscribe, whatever. All right, thanks. Take care. Bye.